So sometime last year, I created a video tutorial on how to create a sphere with quad-based topology, but there's a much easier way of going about doing that, so I thought I'd update this tutorial. So the method I showed you last time involved creating a cube and then subdividing that and adding a cast modifier, and then going ahead and applying all these in order to create this sphere with quad-based topology. Now another way of going about doing that, and a much easier way, is to simply go to your add menu and then come down to round cube. Now when you select the round cube, you're going to get an image that looks like this. And now this is not what you want, so come down to the menu here and expand it. And under operator presets, you want to look for quad sphere. Once you select that, it's going to go ahead and create the sphere with quad based topology. Now, if you haven't watched my older video and you're unsure as to why the quad sphere is important, when it comes to sub D modeling, you want to ensure that when you subdivide your model, it doesn't undergo any kind of um, shading errors or it doesn't have any artifacts on it. Whereas with the UV sphere that you would normally use, it has poles. And so when you subdivide this, you can see that we end up with artifacts. So we have this pinching pattern and we have a little bit of a bump right in the middle of this and that's undesirable when it comes to sub-D modeling. So we want to use the quad sphere as much as possible. Now for other kind of modeling processes other than sub-D modeling, it's fine if you want to go ahead and use the UV sphere, but for sub-D modeling, you want to make sure that you use a sphere with quad-based topology wherever applicable. So that's it for this video and thanks for watching.